In this screencast, I'm going to describe the PXY diagram, which we use to represent the vapor-liquid equilibrium behavior for a binary system. This is assuming an ideal solution, which means Routh's law, and, and Routh's law is that the mole fraction in the liquid phase times the saturation pressure for a given component I is equal to the mole fraction in the vapor phase times the total pressure. So what we want to observe is how the relative amounts of liquid and vapor change and also how the mole fractions of the liquid and vapor change. One, as we change the pressure, keeping the overall mole fraction constant, or two, as we keep the pressure constant and change the overall mole fraction. And so the lever rule can be used to determine the amounts of liquid and vapor, and that's described in another screencast. And so let's look at the diagram. So I'm presenting the diagram from an online interactive simulation that was prepared by someone else, and the details are on the Wolfram Demonstration Project website, and here is the link. And we've modified it slightly to make it a little easier to see in this screencast. Well, what we're showing is the pressure versus the mole fraction for benzene toluene equilibrium, where on this plot on the left, at high pressures, of course, we have liquid, at low pressures, vapor, and then this is vapor-liquid equilibrium in the region between these two graphs. The red line, which is a straight line in Routh's law, corresponds to the bubble point, and the blue line corresponds to the dew point. And then on the right, we're showing the relative amounts of liquid and vapor. So when we're at this pressure, the purple dot here represents our overall composition. But that's composed of some liquid and some vapor. And from the lever rule, because we're closer to the dew point line, closer to the vapor, you notice on the bar graph, we have more vapor than liquid. And the lever rule will allow us to calculate how much of each. And then we're given the compositions of the vapor and the liquid here. So as we change the location of this purple dot, we would change the relative amounts, or as we change the pressure. And so now we're going to go to this interactive simulation just to observe the behavior as we change these. And then you can certainly, on your own, play around with this interactive simulation. So here is the interactive version, where now, for example, I can change the overall mole fraction by moving this slider. And notice as I move it to the left, the amount of liquid increases, the amount of vapor decreases in the bar graph. Something, again, the lever rule would allow us to determine. We moved far enough to liquid. Of course, this region is all liquid. Move it to right. There's more vapor, less liquid. And the overall composition above 0.67 or so. Then we have all vapor. As we fix the composition and we increase the pressure, we go from all vapor to liquid. And as we continue to increase the pressure, the amount of liquid increases. And notice the mole fractions of both the liquid and the vapor are increasing. And eventually we're going to reach the point where we have all liquid. So right there, right, right when we're on the red line, of course, that's the bubble point. Higher pressure, we have all liquid. And so this simulation allows you to look at different conditions, different mole fractions, and determine for that pressure, do we have all liquid, all vapor, or what's the composition of the mixture? 